Hi, my name is Chong Ping Yu, and welcome to the SolidWorks Simulation Tech Tip of Solid Experts. We will see how useful a frequency response graph could be, which is an available feature in the frequency or dynamic analysis. With a right click on the results folder, it's possible to define a frequency graph of the mode number, the effective mass participation factor, or the cumulative effective mass participation factor following a frequency analysis calculation. In the middle graph, we can observe that the effective mass participation factor for each direction tend to be over 80% after about 6 modes calculated. In the left graph, we can see that the frequency is around 500 Hz for the 6th mode. And in the right graph, we can see that the required frequency to get at least 80% of the cumulative effective mass participation is around 500 Hz. These diagrams allow us to verify if the number of modes that we consider in a model analysis are sufficient to capture the dynamic response of a system. This ends the SOLIDWORKS simulation tech tip of SOLID experts. Thank you and see you next time.